Hello everyone. Two things today. Number one, the idea of being still in God's presence. And number two, staying connected. So first off, being still. If you are like me, I have had such a struggle in recent days to keep my thoughts uh, in line. I find my mind going a hundred different directions, find myself staring at my phone for no apparent reason, just this kind of fog and at the same time this internal RPMs just racing about all the different kinds of things going on in my life. And I'm reminded by this famous well-known passage of Psalm 4610, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. So the context of this psalm is that the psalmist is in this very difficult situation. It's a crisis. There's all this struggle and strife happening, all this uncertainty. And in the midst of that situation, God breaks in to the psalm and he speaks. And what God says in the middle of the crisis, in the middle of the struggle, is simply, be still. Be still and know that I am God. Because God will be exalted among the nations. He will be exalted in the earth. And I've had to remind myself of that in these last number of weeks. Uh, with these racing thoughts and all this stress and anxiety kind of going up and up and up, that God is there in the midst of the unknowns, in the midst of the struggle. He is there and he is inviting me to be still in his presence, to be refreshed in who he is, to be refreshed in the idea that he is stronger, bigger, and more capable than my circumstances seem to indicate, and that he's right there all the way through. And God's going to see us through this, but if you're anything like me, I've had to force myself, and it's been really difficult, to slow down and to be still. And of course, I do that most meaningfully through his word and through prayer, uh, through slowing down, reading over the verse or the text, and just getting a sense of who God is reminded me of those simple, basic truths. And so there's lots of ways to do that, but of course we have the Bible reading plan here at Oak Hills. You can download that. Uh, there's lots of different plans. You can look into that. But let's not make it more difficult than it is. The basic fundamental truth is that we must be with him. We must slow ourselves down and know that he is God in the midst of this very difficult situation. So that's number one, be still. Second, um, staying connected. It is so difficult in this time to feel like we are connected to really anything in our lives, but certainly our church family, because we're all uh, by choice in isolation, kind of uh, away from groups and so forth. But I want you to know that kids ministry, student ministry, adult ministry, all the ministries of Oak Hills are really making unique efforts this week to be out there so that everyone can try through the technology to stay connected. So look for those this coming week. And also you'll be receiving a phone call this week because we want everyone in the church to feel connected. And so look for that phone call. Uh, let's do our best in the midst of this very difficult situation to know each other's needs, uh, to be there for one another and to stay connected. So number one, let's be still. Number two, let's stay connected. Let's pray together. God, I pray that as we look at this passage and we look at the circumstances in our lives right now, that you would show us once again who you are. That we would choose to be still. To be reminded of your awesomeness. That you would shepherd us with your caring hand. That you would reach into the circumstances of our lives and you would care for us, that we would be aware of your presence all around us, but we would make that choice to slow down in faith and to be still. And God, I pray you'd also help us stay connected this week uh, with all of the different changes happening in our lives, in our community, in our world. 
give us the uh, the nudge to stay connected this week. Um, there's someone out there that needs a touch from us, and as those others reach out to us to stay connected, God, I pray that you will hold us together, that we will be the body of Christ to one another this week. God, we thank you in advance. We need you and ask for your powerful presence to care for us in this time. In Jesus' name, amen.